If you ask me my favorite food in the whole wide world, without a doubt, my answer would be pizza. Today we're making burrata pizza pie, which is really easy, but looks incredibly impressive. And it's one of my favorite pizzas to make. Literally, I think we have five ingredients and that's it. First things first, I'm just using store-bought dough. You can make your own. I actually have a recipe on what's gotta be cooking if you wanna make it your own. So our pizza dough is at room temp. We're just gonna use our hands and kind of spread it out into a semi-perfect circle. So once that's spread out, flather the pizza sauce on and make sure you leave like a half of an inch around the border for the crust so you have something to like actually pick it up with. And then this is just gonna go into the oven as is. No cheese, no prosciutto, nothing yet. The reason being, when you have burrata, it's so incredible and it's very delicate and if you bake it, it becomes too watery. So we're just gonna pop this into the oven for 10 minutes. All right, so the pizza dough is almost done with the sauce on it. And we're just gonna heat a little bit of olive oil in a skillet and fry some basil. Like, it's fried basil. It sounds kind of funny, but it makes all the difference in the world. We're gonna just wait for this oil to heat up a little bit and then add the basil in and just fry it for like 30 seconds, top, then it's done. So while those are frying, I'm just gonna fold up a little paper towel and make a little bed. Also, side note, if you don't wanna fry your basil, you can totally use fresh basil. I just really like the way it looks. <laughs> vanity, it's all for vanity. So once they're kind of seared on both sides, you're just gonna carefully take them off and put them on the paper towel to dry. You're gonna have to try and be really careful because they're so delicate. And all this oil, you can now use it. It's like basil infused oil. So you can like drizzle it on a salad once it's cool. There's lots of ways to do that. So we'll take our pizza out. All right, so we've got the pizza, we've got the basil. We're just gonna carefully tear open the burrata and look at all that creaminess on the inside. That's where all the good stuff is. So you're just gonna tear it up, place it on the pizza, and then this is just gonna go back in the oven for like two, three minutes tops. You just wanna melt the burrata ever so slightly because if it gets too melty, like I said earlier, it gets watery. All right, now we are just going to put on the prosciutto and just kind of put the prosciutto where the burrata isn't so then you can see like visually, you get to see everything when you serve it. How cool does the fried basil look? Like it's kind of see-through and it's shimmery. That's just gonna go right on top of everything. Make sure every slice will have a, at least a little bit of fried basil. Last thing we're gonna do is season it up with a little bit of salt and a little bit of red pepper flakes. We're just gonna put a little black pepper on there. Take a pizza cutter. Slice it up. I mean, tell me this isn't the most glorious thing you've ever seen in your entire life. We gotta give it a go. Mm. Okay. Mmm, so good, you guys. Make it immediately and get on board with burrata.